Vimos la entrada de ambos deportistas. It's time for the tail of en el rincón azul. Let us introduce from Argentina, Bariloche, Argentina, Fariano de Bariloche, Argentina. Club. His Con coach is Nicolas Rice. He's 29 years old. 1.65 meters tall. He is right handed. He's had 21 Pero fights, principal. 13 victories, 5 knockouts. Facu Suarez. Great combinations. Works very well with his knees. And we've seen him before. He's tough as nails. Y del rincón rojo. In the red corner. Fighting out of Santiago, Santiago Chile, Chile in the brutal striker club. Años, His coach is Ivan Galaz. He's 28 years old, 1.66 meters tall. He is a southpaw. 21 fights, 14 victories, 7 knockouts. Bulla, Let us introduce Felipe Archilero. Very good kicker. Both of these guys about the same age, about the same size, about the same number of fights. Let's see who starts off. With what? At 60 kilograms, these guys are lightning fast. Absolutely. And they have a lot of power with that speed. Let's see. Who's going to start off with what if they're going to fill out? We've seen Faku many times in the past. He is really a great fighter. Felipe is, is as well. But let's see where these guys are going to take this tonight. Faku starts out with a left jab, followed countered by a good left-right combination from Filippi. Left leg kick from Filippi, sound of that. And he gets in close with a good uppercut, with an uppercut. There he goes. Faku throwing out another jab. Filippi moving in with a little bit of a wild technique there. Faku just moving back, getting out of the way. Both of these guys have great stances. Good leg kick from Philippe. Another good leg kick from Philippe. Faku waiting for that counter. And waiting for Philippe Archileiro to make a mistake as he moves in, waiting for that left hook counter. There was a good right and a left from Faku Suarez. There goes that knee that he's well known for, jumping in. Oh, and there goes a good left counter hook from Facu Suarez. Nice technique, good leg kick from Felipe. Another leg kick, followed by a wild right hand by Facu. Good front pushing kick from Felipe. Felipe is no slouch, he is fast very good kicker there he goes again with a, he sets up that back leg kick follows with a good left right combination Faku moving around a lot less than I've seen him in the past another leg kick from Philippe Faku trying that jumping knee. He's got a really strong right hand. He's just waiting to set that up. Oh, and there was a good back leg high kick from Faku Suarez. Oh, and there goes a good right hand counter attack from Faku. Followed by a good combination left, right, left, right from Felipe Archilero. Oh, and there it goes. A good knee right at the end of the first round of this featured fight, the lightweight division between Facu Suarez from Argentina and Felipe Archilero from Santiago, Chile. We'll right back to the start of the second round.
the second round. Oh, and there goes a wild right hand from Faku again. That is a very strong hand if you get somebody with that. Oh, and there goes another wild hand from Faku, but if those, like I said, if those, one of those connects, it's lights out for Philippe. Definitely see a great combinations coming out of Philippe's side he's got some great punching as well as some good kicking there goes a more of a slip than anything else Faku looking a little bit frustrated he's throwing wildly very aggressive both of these guys have great defenses neither one able to score really well right now there was a good kick to the midsection from Filippi by Filippi and another one blocked by Faku, but it was a great kick, powerful kick. Oh, and there goes a good knee from Filippi. Just missing Faku's chin. Another good kick from the back leg. Oh, and Faku is just waiting to set up that right hand. But we can see that Filippi is aware of that. He's getting in with his kick and he's getting out. Faku's not using any kind of boxing skills really at all. So just throwing that right haymaker. Trying really, really hard to knock him out. And you see a lot more combinations, a lot more technique coming out of Philippe Archuleta's side. Moving around, moving laterally a lot more. There it goes. Oh, and there we go. Like I said, throwing that right wild right hand and if he catches him he's going to knock him down and there he goes knocked him down not a real knockdown but he did hit him and there he goes again oh and he's hitting him in the back of the neck he's going to get the count he's pointing to the back of his neck to me from here it looked like it was in the back of the neck as well Relying on their boxing skills a lot. Oh, and there goes a good kick from Filippo, but he slips. And it was easily blocked by Faku. Double roundhouse kick from Filippo. Way off the mark. And there goes the bad end of the second round. That Round was not nearly as exciting as the first round. Technique was not as crisp, not as clean. Still a great fight for both of these guys. Both of these guys are great fighters. There's no question about it. We'll be right back, folks, with the third and final round of this featured fight lightweight division. This third round is going to take us. I'm betting that Faku Suarez is going to come out even more aggressive than he has. And he's going to start throwing some really wild punches. He wants to knock this young guy down. Oh, and a good leg kick from Filippi. You see a lack of kicking ability there in Faku's arsenal, I would have to say. Right hand counter from Filippi. 
just catching in Faku on the left side of his face. Oh, and there goes a good knee from Philippe. so far being the more aggressive of the two in this round. Faku standing strong, a great boxing stance. But he's not throwing a lot of stuff. Big combinations coming. Oh, there was a leg kick from Faku. Under the clinch, five second rule, remember? There was that heavy right hand coming out of nowhere. So far, except for once, evaded by Felipe Archilero. Both of these guys giving it their all this fight. It has been a hard run fight. They've tr they've worked out, they've worked a lot. They've worked hard. And now you can see they're getting a little bit tired. Felipe really started off hard in this round and he's running out of the gas a little bit. But that having said that, they're both highly trained, highly skilled athletes, well conditioned. Oh, and there goes a good right counter from Felipe Archilero. Knocking Faku down. He doesn't think that he deserved to be counted on that one. But he did get hit and he did get knocked down. Might have been a slip in there. But he still did get hit perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. Felipe has really picked it up in this round. He's, I would say he's, he's made up on his points that he was behind. Faku is still moving forward, not throwing a lot of technique, trying for that one haymaker punch that comes out of nowhere, blindsiding Philippe. This state of the game, this late in the game, I don't think it's going to happen. But you never know. You never know. Oh, and a good left-hand combination. It's fantastic. Felipe is able to throw those combinations and get in quick and get out just as quick. Catching Faku off guard. Oh, and there goes a good body kick from Felipe Arachilero. Catching Faku on the right side of his body. I'm going to go out on a limb on this one, folks. For me, the winner will be by unanimous decision, Felipe Arachilero. Be right back with the judge's official decision in just a second. Fight fans, we are back for the official decision of this super featured fight lightweight division. Chile versus Argentina. Unanimous decision. Who do you think is the winner? Señoras y señores. El vencedor de la sección is... Feature 60 kilos es Facu Suárez. Facu Suárez. Facu is the winner. I was way off, completely way off on that one. 